Good morning, kids. This is Miss Emily here. In a few minutes, we're going to hear the story of Cain and Abel. Do you remember them? Let's take a look. They were Adam and Eve's sons. And long story short, Cain let his anger grow and grow and become sin when he killed his brother. He was given consequences for his sin, but God also gave him grace and forgiveness, promising to protect him wherever he went. Just like Cain, when we let temptation turn into sin, it bubbles over. The lying, cheating, out of control, anger, bullying, whatever the sin may be, hurts us and hurts the people around us. It kind of takes over our lives and becomes hard to clean up. Sin is kind of messy. But when we feel tempted and we ask and listen to God for his help, he fills us with his guidance and grace. And the temptation just kind of disappears. All of that potential sin that was waiting to bubble over dissolves. Our hearts and lives don't get so messy and we don't hurt the people around us. So as you go throughout your week this week, think about this illustration and remember that God's grace, the goodness that he shows us even when we don't deserve it, is there to help us resist temptation and stay on track in the journey with him. Have a great week. Bye.